Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. In this video, we'll be solving example 8.6 from Mr. Hyatt's book of Psychic Analysis. And this is on the request of a student. So, straight away on the question this is the circuit given. For the circuit, find the voltage level VC. So, this is VC, voltage across capacitor. We have to find that 40 greater than 0. If we see not that is the initial value is equal to 2 volt. And this circuit is a simple RC circuit containing a dependent source. So this is a dependent source not controlled by capacitor voltage. So this dependent source is not controlled by VC, rather it is controlled by this current I1. Okay, now uh, in the book, two methods have been used, so I'll discuss both the methods. My job is only try to simplify uh, what has been done in the book, so the students can easily understand. So, method one. Now, we have to use Thevenin's equivalent circuit. Uh, for the left of the capacitor, so the left side or the left side of the circuit. And for that, we separate the capacitor. So I hope you know that in the Thevenin's theorem, we separate the load and then find the Thevenin's equivalent circuit. So exactly that is what we are going to do here. So this is the circuit we need to find Thevenin's of this portion. Uh, I hope you also know that if there is a dependent source uh, in a circuit, this Thevenin's voltage is easily found, but its Thevenin resistance we cannot find easily. For that, we have to connect a test current source or a test voltage source. So here, we'll connect a test current source, as shown here. So in this portion, we have connected a test current source. And what is the advantage? How do we find our equivalent with this? Is that we divide Vx divided by the current to find R equivalent. So R equivalent is Vx divided by I, and I is one ampere. So Vx divided by one will give us R equivalent. So the aim here is to find Vx. Now since this is a parallel circuit, so whatever is the voltage here Vx, same voltage here Vx, same voltage here Vx. So up to this point, now let's move forward. And we also can note that these both these currents are flowing through uh, these resistances. So we can say that the Vx, this Vx, is the sum of the currents multiplied by the resistance. So 1 plus 1.5 I1, this is 1. This is 1.5 I1 uh, multiplied by the two resistances that is 10 and 20. Or we can write that Vx is 1 plus 1.5 by 30. So this, let this be our equation number 1. Now from the left branch you can also see that I1 is Vx divided by this or Vx over 30, so this is our second equation. Now using these two equations, we can find Vx. So first of all, this was the equation one. If we open it, we get this equation. And then now we'll put I1 is Vx over 30 from equation number two here. So putting that and taking or multiplying by 30, then from here, we move this uh, to the left-hand side and move this to the right-hand side. That means 15 Vx is equal to minus 900. That means Vx is equal to minus 60. So this is our Vx or Vtheverin, we can say. Now we need to find our Theverin or our equivalent, which we have discussed here. It is Vx over uh, one ampere and Vx is minus 60, so minus 60 over 1, 
and therefore the equivalent resistance is minus 60 ohm don't uh, uh, worry if, even if the resistance is minus sign minus 60 uh, okay so our thermal equivalent circuit will now look like this this is the voltage and this is the impedance so now we'll connect the uh, load or the capacitor that we have separated we're connecting the capacitor and couple of things we know that the time constant uh, for a circuit is given by tau is equal to r equivalent multiplied by c for, this is for the rc circuit that means tau is r equivalent we have found uh, 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 minus 60 and c is one microfarad so it will be minus 60 into 10 raised to the power minus 6 second we also know uh, from here sorry i missed uh, let me go back here excuse me okay so the vt which uh, we call vc here is given by v initial e raised to the power minus t over rc this we have learned uh, from the uh, uh, first order circuit we will just plug in the values we already know tau or, or rc is this value so for rc we will write uh, 60 into 10 raised to the power 6 minus sign will go up here There should be a minus here as well for our fee minus this the minus minus will cancel it will become plus and v0 we have learned that the initial condition given was two volt so we'll plug in this value two volt so this is our answer this is the value of the voltage across capacitor at any time t so this was first method the second method we don't have to uh, take terminals we just write the nodal equation straight away this here the current through the capacitor we have just assumed a direction that ic is going down and the the logic for this is that we know that wherever current touches that becomes positive so already given is top positive and bottom negative therefore the current should be coming like this okay now with this current we can write the uh, nodal analysis the current entering is equal to current leaving that means 1.5 i1 is equal to i1 and ic plus ic and from here manipulating we get 0.5 i1 is equal to ic now this is VC and as we have discussed in the previous uh, slide same voltage will appear here same voltage will appear here so this is also VC so we can write that I1 is VC divided by these two resistances also we know that the current through the capacitor is given by IC is C dV dt so 0.5 becomes half i1 becomes vc over 30 so vc over 30 and i see c dv dt c is one microfarad that means standard the power minus 6 dvc dt rearranging and moving this on the left hand side we get this radiation now keeping this uh, uh, in view we have discussed uh, this in uh, uh, for the second degree circuit that if uh, this is the second degree equation we can write d over dt is equal to s to in s domain and therefore 
if we take i common in all these three we will get the characteristics equation s square from here 13 s and 30 the so same way we can uh, convert dv dt as s in s domain so going into s domain this will become svc and minus this remains same when we take out vc common whatever is in the bracket is the characteristics equation so the characteristics equation will be as shown here and that means s is 1 over 60 into 10 to the power minus 6. Now, we have learned uh, uh, from the first order circuit that the solution is of exponential form. And any exponential form can be written in this way, i or v is equal to some constant a e raised to the power st, where s uh, is the uh, root of the equation. So this is the root of the equation s. So basing on this, we can say that the vc is a e raised to the power st. And plugging in the value of uh, s, this value, we get this relation uh, as vc. Here also, we don't know A, but the condition given in the book was that the initial condition VC is 2. So it just plug in 2 here. And plugging in, we get the final value VCT is 2 e raised to the power T over 60 to 10 to the power minus 6. So this is the same answer that we got in method 1. I hope you have been able to follow this. Please let me know through your comments. Thank you.